Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question under try this section, page number 204, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. So, let's start our video and see the question number 2 of this try this page. See the question under try this section, page number 204, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. Question number 2 is given on this page. Principal equal to rupees thousand, rate equal to eight percent per annum. Fill the following table and find which type of interest, simple or compound, changes in direct proportion with the time period. We know the value. What is the direct proportion? Direct proportion for x and y. So x and y, these two, x and y. These two variables are said to be in direct proportion if x upon y means their ratio is always constant for any value of different values of x corresponding to the different values of y. This is the basic condition means as x increases y should increase but in a similar manner. If x is getting double y must get double. If x is getting triple y must get triple. So this is the basic condition for direct proportion. So here we have to first fill the table means find out the simple interest for the basic condition. What is given? Principal is given 1000 rupees rate 8% per annum and this is the period. Formula for the simple interest we know PRT divided by 100 where P is principal R is rate of interest per annum. See here per annum rate per annum is important and t is the period so let's find out the simple interest first i will write here s i 1 for this period one one year s i 1 equal to p r t this is the formula p into r into t divided by 100 what will be the value of p value of p is given principal is given thousand rupees r rate of interest is given 8 percent here period is 1 and divided by 100 so we will get this 2 0 will get cancel 10 into 8 80 so principal so simple interest for the first period means for period one year we are getting rupees 80 similarly si2 means simple interest for the period two years so here PRT, I will not write formula, I will di directly write value of P in principal is 1000. It is common for all period. 1000 into rate of interest is also common 8, but period here changes 2 here. So write 2 here divided by 100. So we will get here, 2 0 will get cancelled here. 8 into 2, 16, 16 into 10, 160. So rupees 160. For the two year period, simple interest is 160 and for the period three year SI3, we will calculate the simple interest, principal is 1000, rate of interest is 8, period is 3 divided by 100. Calculate 20 here, 20 will get cancelled, 8 into 3, 24, 24 into 10, that is rupees 240. So, we are getting the interest, simple interest for these different periods. So, just write here, rupees 80, here rupees 80, already re written here rupees. So, 80, then here for 2, 160 and for 3 year, 240. So, these are the simple interest. Now, let's calculate, let's calculate the compound interest for this period. For compound interest, formula is given p into bracket r p into bracket 1 plus r upon 100 bracket s to t minus p so let's calculate the compound interest see here this is the formula for i will write here c compound interest ci1 for the period 1 ci1 equal to put these values of p and r and t in this formula for this principal is rupees 1000 then into bracket 1 plus rate of interest is 8 
डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड ब्रैकेट कमेस टू पावर टी टी मीन्स पीरियड इज वन राइट हियर वन माइनस दिस प्रिंसिपल दैट इज थाउजेंड देन जस्ट सॉल्व दिस थाउजेंड इनटू ब्रैकेट वन प्लस एट अपॉन हंड्रेड हंड्रेड इनटू वन टेक कॉमन बेस दिस आर द बेसिक कैलकुलेशंस आई विल डायरेक्टली राइट व्हाट इज द रिजल्ट हंड्रेड इनटू वन हंड्रेड प्लस एट दैट इज वन जीरो एट डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड ब्रैकेट इज टू वन माइनस थाउजेंड सो वी विल गेट हियर थाउजेंड so here we will get this two zero will get cancel so we will get one zero eight zero minus thousand that c i one c i one equal to rupees one zero eight zero minus thousand that is rupees eighty means compound interest and simple interest for period one year is always same that is here also rupees eighty are you getting now see for the second second in two years compound interest for period 2 ci2 right the values of p and r right t here two years so 1000 into bracket 1 plus 8 upon 100 bracket is to 2 minus 1000 solve this bracket 1000 Into bracket one plus eight upon hundred means one zero eight divided by hundred. Into bracket is two means multiplied by two times one zero eight divided by hundred minus thousand. Solve this, we will get C I two C I two as this two zero two zero will get cancelled and just solve this, you will get rupees. One six six point four. So simple compound interest for the period two is one six six point four rupees. Similarly, find out the compound interest for period three three years period thousand into bracket one plus eight divided by hundred bracket raised to three minus thousand. Just solve this bracket thousand. Into one zero eight divided by hundred into one zero eight divided by hundred into one zero eight divided by hundred minus thousand, isn't it? Just solve this, you will get C I three compound interest for the period three year as two fifty nine point seven one two rupees. So put these values in this table. That is two five nine seven one two, isn't it? Now see here, we have filled this table. We have calculated. We have calculated the simple interest, compound interest for the given period. Now what is asked? Find out. Find which type of interest, simple interest or compound interest, changes in direct proportion with the time period. What is the basic condition for direct proportional? these values corresponding values must change are you getting here must change in proportion means if it is getting double both values must be double that is the basic condition for if there are x and y values x and y are said to be in direct proportion if x increases y increases in direct proportion if x and y is constant ratio of these two Values is constant for different values. So, for simple interest, for simple interest here, let x equal to, let this value interest be x. Are you getting? Interest be x. So x one equal to eighty. X two equal to one sixty, and x three equal to two forty, and Let y be the period. Here we have said x as a interest, simple interest, simple interest, and y as time period, time period. Are you getting? So here y one will be one, y two will be two, and y three will be three. So these are the three values of y, and corresponding values of x means some simple interest. 
will be like this for one year period simple interest is 80 for two year period simple interest is 160 and for three year period three year period simple interest will be 240 rupees 240 so we have to find whether these are directly proportional simple interest is directly proportional to time period means we have to find the ratio x upon y huh? so x upon y means for, for the first value x1 upon y1 ratio will be x1 is 80 and y1 is 1 isn't it so ratio will be 80 similarly find the ratio x2 upon y2 x2 is 160 and y2 is 2 again ratio we are getting 80 same ratio we are getting and similarly find x3 upon y3 so ratio will be x3 is 240 and y3 is 3 again divided by 3 3 3 1 3 3 8 are 24 so it is again 80 so we are getting the same ratio for different values of period and different values of simple interest corresponding simple interest means simple interest simple interest changes in direct proportion with time period so we can write here simple interest simple interest changes in direct proportion direct proportion with time period why we are saying like this because the ratio of simple interest and time period for one two three year at different time period ratio is constant ratio is 80 it is constant for all values so it is directly proportional now let's see whether compound interest is directly proportional to time period or not now see here compound interest for the first year 80 second year two year for two year period is 166 and for three year 259 so let's see both uh, two variables x and y let's consider this x and y variables for finding out the direct proportional x and y we must find the ratio that x upon y must be constant then only we can say x and y are directly proportional so here let assume x as a compound interest for this period compound interest and y as time period because we have to find whether compound interest changes in direct proportion with time period so here we are considering y as a time period here x1 means value of compound interest for the time period means y1 for 1 for first year y1 x1 is 80 then x2 is 166.4 for time period 2 y2 is 2 similarly x3 is equal to 259 259 for y3 equal to 3 so these are the three values of y and corresponding values of x are like this so just take the ratio that x1 upon y1 x1 is 80 y1 is 1 ratio is 80 now find the ratio for x2 and y2 here x2 is 166.4 y2 is 2 ratio will be 2 on the 2 2 8 the 16 and 2 3 the 6 point isn't it so ratio will be 83.2 here directly we can say ratio is different so it is not necessary to calculate the third ratio so here we can directly say that this compound interest does not change this compound interest does not change in direct proportional with time period so only the simple interest changes with the directly in direct proportion with the time period so compound interest so we can write here so here we can uh, say compound interest does not change in direct proportional with time period because the ratio for 
x and y with different values mean corresponding values of x to the corresponding values of y is different for different values only the simple interest is changing in direct proportional with time period this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you